everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Walker Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. And this season is officially underway. Taken from the three-yard line. He makes it to the 25-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And down he goes, right around the 48-yard line. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Caught with room to work. He's taken down at the 29 yard line. up about three with that catch. That'll make it second and seven. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 22-yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. Toss. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. Right around the 12 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Gotta be happy with the effort there by your tailback. And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 7-0. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 34. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Tackle made around the 43-yard line. That brings in second and one. And they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He scrambles. Slides down. 
the second and seven. seven. the ground incomplete you know i think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that i think he just put too much on the football his receiver was open he just misfired from the 40 yard line it's third down and he's tackled at the 24. this guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible you don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Inside you. Tackle around the 15-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Five wide. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in. He's got space. And he's taken down at the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Golden Hurricane. Your point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. A nice eight play, 66 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Tulsa to kick. He's out to the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 35 yard line. Last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Brought down at the 48-yard line. He fights forward to about the 46. Flips it middle to the running back. They'll bring him down around the 46 yard line. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Here's the halfback on the screen, and down he goes at the 41-yard line. They get five yards on the play. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He has some room. Gets out to around the 32. Gets to around the 42. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. He might have a chance. Makes it out to about the 49. That's a gain of 9 on the play. First down. Run, run, run. 
Makes it out to about the 36. That's a game of 13 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Trigger. Quick out to his receiver. We played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7-7. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we're dead even. Mike seven. Mike seven. Hand off inside. And he tackles him hard at the 15-yard line. That's a D 14 yards on the way. Mike seven. Let's go, D. Halfback's got it on a quick throw, and he is drilled at the 10-yard line. On the tackle at the 10-yard line. That brings him second and five. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Nearly intercepted. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. From the 10-yard line, it's third down. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Right, I think this is a case where the running back started to peek up and think about the defender before he caught the football. You always hear about guys hearing footsteps. I think he heard footsteps there, didn't allow him to catch the football. Tulsa is looking to go up by three. Kicks away. And it sails through the uprights. Cohen is lined up to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. And they push him out at the 38. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he throws it away. From their own 38-yard line, second down. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Strike to his receiver, no good. Tate was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. He guns it. And he hits him hard at the 36-yard line. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. It's second and ten. Ball on the 36. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He gets hit out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Tate was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it Looks like they've decided to go for it here. He caught it, but they're not going to get it. He's tackled immediately. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. That's a big-time stop here by the defense. I know we're only in week one, 
But this defense looks like they're in midseason form. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Tulsa is up a field goal. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's taken down at the 36. That makes it first and 10. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That makes it second and two. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it again at four yards. First down. Three down, three down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Here he goes. Makes it to the 41. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. Long takes it counter right. Nice run there as they work the outside. That'll bring up second and three. They go with the run. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Makes it to the 24. That's good for a game of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. After a decent pickup. Tulsa holds a field goal lead. Makes it out to maybe the 19 yard line. a loss of about three. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Throwing left. This one will fall incomplete. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on them. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Quickly incomplete. Smith intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 22-yard line. It's second down. Fires out to his wideout. The 50. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. Oh. 
Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. At this point, boys, you're playing against the defense and the clock. So you might want to consider to hurry things up. From the 40-yard line, second down. Very good tackle in space. Under pressure. With the pass incomplete. Number 16 was the intended receiver on the way. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Herbie, this guy headed to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. We don't know how bad it is, but right now it doesn't look like he's likely to play any more football. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made at the 12-yard line. this one out to the left. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Here's the eighth play of the series. The Falcons had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Walker was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. Nash takes it from the six, and he's taken down at the 31-yard line. So we've played two quarters, and a 10-10 tie in this game. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Tied at the half, each team's move has been countered by the other. So far, nobody's been able to establish checkmate or really even generate much momentum. So what is each team, what's the most important thing for the second half for one team to gain an edge in this game? Well, it seems like there has been an answer, and at some point, you know, you just got to get your offense and defense both working together. You know, when you do score, how about you get a stop so you can get your offense back and continue to add to the lead? And sometimes it's hard. Sometimes, you know, the, the game swings and it goes one way and you can't stop it, and then it comes back the other way. So I think maybe it's a special teams play. You know, maybe it's something off the radar that, that you're used to. Maybe a big punt return, a blocked punt, but... So far, the offenses and defenses seem even. Maybe you can get an edge on the special teams. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Inside handoff. He's tackled in the open field. Tackle at about the 45. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and nine. Got a man, but he 
he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a two-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. tackled around the 40-yard line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. Tate is back to receive. And down he goes at the 31. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Makes it out to about the 39. That makes it second and two. Defensive end just put on a clinic that time. You know, they might want to double team this guy with a back the next time they pass. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. pressure out of bounds at the 41 yard line gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield that'll bring up fourth and one it's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it He's got to throw it in a hurry, and he's level at the 49. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. Great play there by the D. It's early in the season, but they showed they don't get rattled at all. I give them a lot of credit. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He's at the 40. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Runs right for a nice game. That's a game of seven on the way. That'll make it second and four. Watch one, watch one. Mike, Mike four, check four. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. That's a game of three on the way. Third down. After a nice run up the middle. That's good work. First down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down around the 27 yard line.
Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 27th. And he tackles him hard at the 18. Gain of nine on the play. That makes us third and three. Bring him down to the 19 yard line. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. The five, it's complete, and down he goes at about the three yard line. Touchdown, Golden Hurricane. And that was a perfectly executed play there by the offense. And the option is so tough to defend, especially right near the goal line. And he tacks on the extra point. As his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Walker fields it at the three. At the 30. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. receiver he's at the 40 and they make the stop around the 37 yard line that's three down and one to go Tulsa's lead is a touchdown back in this very pivotal fourth quarter Tackle in the backfield for a loss. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Toss is out to the tailback on the screen. And they hit him in the backfield. McCoy with the tackle. That'll make it third and 13. Third and long, and this is where you earn your money if you're the offensive coordinator. Number 16, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Tulsa up seven points. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down around the 29-yard line. Whitaker makes the tackle at the 29-yard line. That brings up second and one. Takes it out to about the 49. First down. Watch the run, watch the run. Mike seven, Mike seven. Throws out and through his hands. From their own 49 yard line. Second down. Gains 
his way to the 39-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. He makes his way out to about the 25. That makes it first and 10. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled around the 12 yard line. is up by a touchdown. Play of the drive. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wide out. Northman the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Five wide. Let's go. Flag on your head. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled at about the 39 yard line. Just under two to go in the game. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Six yard line. First down. Plenty of time in the pocket. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. The tight end is a big guy, and you're not doing him any favors if you're putting the ball at his feet like that. Strike to his receiver, no good. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. Fourth down. Room to run. And he hits him hard at the 26-yard line. 
Keep those chains moving. Just a simple out route that time, and it was enough to beat the zone defense. It's the ninth play of the drive. Fires it out. Brought down around the 10 yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Under a minute left. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he stops the clock with a spike. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Dives forward. Throws over the middle, touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he adds the extra point. Not much time left on the clock, and we've got a great one going. The score is tied up at 17. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Tackle at the 33-yard line. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. The worst thing that should happen for the offense now is that the game will go into overtime. If they can make a couple of plays, then maybe they'll pull it out in regulation. This is what it all comes down to, right? This is why we love this game. Zips it to the back. And he's taken down at the 39. Five, maybe six on that screen pass. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Guns it left side. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. This looks like their last shot to get it to the end zone. Going deep, lays it out there. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Throws it deep. Almost intercepted. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down right around the 14-yard line. First down. Complete. He's got room. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. That makes it first and goal. On the throw. Incomplete pass. First down. 
from the three yard line. Second down. Touchdown, Tulsa. Great execution and a great way to start overtime. Now you put this thing in the hands of your defense. If they step up, you get the win. He splits the uprights with the extra point. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 25. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's pushed out of bounds at the 24-yard line. and they need to get it to the 15. Short pass, middle of the field. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Falcons. <laughs> It's a nice touchdown, but they still need the extra point to tie it up. It's a lot of pressure on a kicker. You never know about the jitters. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. Well, it's going to take another round at least. You can bet the coaches are going to look to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball. From the 25-yard line, first down, empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers, and a quick throw. And he's level at the 11. They come out in an empty backfield. Fires out to his wideout, and down he goes around the three-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Got a receiver and he dropped it. Take the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Okay, just like that. Just like that. Hand off and he won't make it. Loss of two yards on the play. That brings us fourth and three. And the kicker comes out to try to put three points on the board here in overtime. He gets it up, and he's got it. Slings it. This one is over. Well, they knew exactly what they had to do here to win this football game, and they went out and did it. It's been a battle the entire game, and I don't think there's any doubt that these guys completely deserve this W. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. Tulsa, 30, Bowling Green, 27. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.